So it's Monday morning. I'm about to set off for the Three Peaks Challenge. I'm gonna go meet the other guys in crew and then we're gonna drive all the way up to Scotland. So this year for the Three Peaks Challenge we teamed up with Asus, so a big shout out to them for partnering with us again on that. Now this band of plucky, naive tech enthusiasts would be attempting to climb the highest peak in Scotland, followed by the highest peak in England and then Wales, all in 24 hours. That means climbing each one at a steady pace and then driving between them hoping traffic is kind. Of course to do the driving we had two more people, one from each team but more importantly, the cars. Thanks to Land Rover, we took a specked out Range Rover Sport along with the new seven seat Discovery. It was cozy, but thankfully quite comfy with enough room for baggage. There's plenty of tech inside and plenty of power to get us up and down those windy country roads. But that's enough about the cars. Let's get on to the main event, the mountains. First up, Ben Nevis. At 1,345 meters, it's the highest of the three mountains, and the path up it is long. And at 9 a.m., we started the climb. In the sweltering heat, it was slow going up those steep, rocky zigzags. But hey, it wasn't all bad. There's snow. down Ben Nevis. I'm really quite tired. Didn't eat enough on the way up, burnt too many calories, felt a bit faint, but we're on the way down, back to the car and on to Scarfell. Now by the time we'd got back down again, we'd been walking nearly six and a half hours and then it was on to Scarfell in Cumbria. How are you feeling about the mountain climb, Chris? Uh, pretty good, actually. We had a good time up, good time down. It's good fun, wasn't it? It's very hot, though. Very yeah. hot, surprisingly hot. Now, because of that slower than expected climb up Nevis and some traffic near Glasgow, it was gone 9 p.m. by the time we got to Scarfell Pike. At 978 meters, it's the shortest of the three mountains, but one of the toughest to climb. Its steep, seemingly constant steps and lack of a clear path near the top are tough to deal with at night time. How are you feeling, John? Yeah, good. <laughs> so far, so good. Are we ready to take on this mountain? team now down to six climbers took around two hours to get to the top. They got back down again in the middle of the night ready for another few hours on the road southwest to Snowdonia's picturesque mountain range. Snowdon, ready for you. Now Snowdon or Urwithva as it's known in the native tongue is Wales's tallest mountain and stands at 1085 meters. It's the last hurdle and probably the easiest to climb but having started at 6.23 a.m it was unlikely we'd get up and back down again by nine o'clock. Making my way down Snowdon, down the pig track on my own. I didn't quite make it up. 
probably not even halfway up Snowdon. I missed Scarfell completely. Uh, ben Nevis just wiped me out. I'm really tired, but the other guys, most of them are still going. They're still plodding on towards the summit. So we'll see what their footage looks like and we'll all hopefully have an interesting story to tell at the end of it. John, we've finished. <laughs> We're on the straight. Just come down from snow, and that's three of three. Just in over, just over 24 hours. John, how are you feeling? Ready for a beer. <laughs> Ready for a beer. There's the official statement. <laughs> three peaks challenge done. Stuart from Team Pocket Lint and John from Team Asus were the first two to cross the finish line at around 11:20. That's 26 hours after setting foot on the base of Ben Nevis, followed by Chris. Now in the end, we didn't quite make it in under 24 hours, but it was an incredible challenge with lots of highs and lows, figuratively and literally. We're looking forward to taking on another challenge in the near future. I've been Cam, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Chris? Yay! It's not going in the video. Okay. Ta da! You gonna throw a snowball at me, Chris? Oh, that's not chilly. <laughs> Alright, this is just a block of ice. Yeah. Oh, no, this one's. Oh, <laughs> right on the block. Did you get it? Better, Dan. Come on, Ricky. That's not going in. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> do it going up again, Chris. That's amazing. <laughs>